Hey dudes and dudettes, I've come to realize that there's a lot of tutorials out there on Tigger's Construct, but uh, a lot of them take way too long to explain the mod, and it might not even go into the specific item that you're interested in. So uh, I hope to solve that issue with the series. Uh, my goal is to dive deep into very specific categories into the mods and uh, you know explain them so that you know how to, to use them and how to you know craft them and what the purpose is and why you'd want it. Uh, so yeah, let's get started off with uh, learning the basics of the Tinker's Construct tool stations and uh, why you'd want them and stuff like that. Why would you want Tinker's Construct? Like, why would you want to use Tinker's Construct? And the, the great thing about Tinker's Construct is it's a it's a tool mod uh, that adds a, a bunch of new tools, obviously, uh, but adds some um, crazy abilities onto those tools. For example, if we take the sledgehammer from Tinker's, it mines in a three by three by one section. So it cleared, like you can clear out much bigger areas very quickly with the hammer. And then there's also the ability to put fortune onto a tool or weapon uh, using only lapis, copper, and a cornflower. Uh, luck is equal to fortune in this case. So all in all, it's just a much better tool system uh, that has a lot more depth and is actually quite fun to play around with. So the first thing you're gonna need in Tinker's Contract, like to even get started, is you're gonna need these things called patterns. Uh, yeah, these are super easy to craft uh, normally uh, they just look like this. They have uh, two sticks and two planks, and they typically give you uh, different amounts. It depends on what mod pack you're playing, because some of them might just give you one, or you might even get like four or five. So it really depends. Uh, but these are the like basic two Tinker's Construct, and you're definitely going to want to go ahead and start off with them. Uh, I highly recommend making a crafting station. It's essentially just combining a crafting table with the pattern will give you the crafting station. Uh, and what, what's really cool about this guy is you can uh, leave craftable like like items in it. Uh, you can actually use it as storage if you wanted to, if you were really hurting. Uh, but yeah, very helpful, uh, and I highly recommend it. Uh, just an upgraded crafting table altogether. Okay, so the first thing you want to go ahead and get crafted is the part builder, this guy here. Uh, if you look here, it's just two planks and two patterns up above. Uh, what this allows you to do is take your patterns and a material, say cobblestone, uh, and create different things out of it. It's like we're going to create a pickaxe head here, um, and this will allow us to create different um, components of our tools, which is very cool. So then the follow-up after that, you know, we have all the parts. You're going to need a place to assemble the parts, and the, the place to do is the Tinker Station. If we click here on the pickaxe, uh, we can use the components that we crafted earlier, combine them together, and we get ourselves a pickaxe. So very cool. Uh, you can do the other items as well, like the mattock, the comma, the hand axe, the sword, and the dagger. And then you can also repair the tools in here. And to repair the tools, all you'll do is put the pickaxe or the item here in this slot, and then you can put it in one of these. It says the tool is not damaged, so it's not letting us repair it, but it's basically just an anvil uh, without using any levels, which is fantastic. And another very vital thing you'll probably need is a part chest. Uh, this will just allow you to create certain items or certain patterns and be able to store them in a certain spot. And so it gets really big. I don't know the exact maximum of this, but there's a lot of storage in it. And those are the basic tool stations for Tinker's Construct. If you guys liked the video, hit that like button. Let me know down in the comment section what you think if you want me to keep doing this or if you have a suggestion on something you'd like done in the future. Thank you all for watching. I'll see you all in the next episode.